Hey YouTube, um, I'm trying to put together a uh, sort of a backup communications uh, system here. This is for uh, this is ham radio, and this is kind of a uh, a, a base station slash uh, portable if it needs to be um, something I can just throw all the pieces in the car and uh, take somewhere. Uh, you know, one of those uh, SHTF situations um, so uh, so this is the uh, battery power system it's basically a battery box and a deep cycle marine battery um, and a charger from Walmart this um, this battery is about $77 charger was like uh, 49 yeah, 50 bucks basically um, the battery box uh, I, I don't even remember it was it was pretty cheap though uh, I, I would say $15 or less um, there's a little bit extra space I got the biggest uh, deep cycle marine they had I wish I could fill the box um, maybe uh, at some point I'm going to switch to a uh, like a sealed uh, AGM battery and so maybe I can find the, the right group size it'll fill this box completely I just don't really need that extra space in there I don't want to store anything uh, in there I did try that before I thought well um, you know I can put some extra cords or something down in there it, it does the box comes with this divider so I can put this in here supposedly you know it's only clipped in at the top this will keep the uh, the battery from moving around. You can see it doesn't really work that well, and you got a little bit of space in here, but uh, it just really didn't work out. Um, it's during the charging or moving or something, a little bit of the acid spilled out and got in there, and it, it kind of corroded the contact. So, uh, putting anything in the battery box is, with the battery is a bad idea. Um, that's what prompted me to get the uh, the pads there to try to cut down on any uh, corrosion and. Uh, and I bought these terminals because we already have the screw terminals on here and this is set up for a, uh, a trickle charge system uh, at some point or I could use this as an output but I'm going to hook my uh, uh, power for my radio um, on here and then uh, that's just with these uh, bare wires goes to uh, fuses this is dual fused um, 25 amps uh, on the hot and ground so I'll hook that up and then this goes to my amateur radio and then all I have to do is just get the uh, get the charger leads on there and uh, get them routed out of the box so uh, I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back okay so I've got the uh, the wires attached and the uh, alligator clips on for the battery charger uh, I ended up hooking up two power cords. I went and got another one. So uh, this is going to be for my HF radio, and this will be for my uh, technically HF and VHF and UHF radio. Uh, it's a quad band, so uh, I'll have two radios to run off of this. So all I'm doing is basically just uh, just dressing uh, the power wires to one side here and the charging wires to the other side because on the lid here it has these two bumps that come out um, to give you a place for the wires to run out so um, so I'm going to put this lid on and uh, while I'm dressing those wires at the same time and uh, then it'll be all done ready to go okay so here it is I uh, got the battery charger plugged in it's doing its thing controls there it's a little noisy um, might not be so bad if it's hiding under my desk or something but here we got the charging uh, wire and my trickle charger cable and uh, I gotta verify the uh, polarity on this 100% make sure that it's the uh, you know, if there's some accessories or something I want to plug in there, uh, it'll be the same polarity. Got my uh, power wires run out this side. And <clears throat> they're just going up here to 
my two radios. So there's the uh, the 8900 quad band. That's uh, 10 meters, 6 meters, uh, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. And the uh, the 897D model. So it's got the uh, the uh, um, the TXCO and uh, 60 meters in there. Otherwise, it's the same. And there's everybody's favorite frequency. I've got a 20 meter dipole. I live in an apartment right now, so uh, that's why it's important for me that for the this to be as portable as it is uh, stationary. And uh, I'm probably going to end up building this um, stuff into.